Well, we are doing something a little, we're doing something a little different this time. We are going to Las Vegas for a very short trip. We are flying out and just taking two full days there. More of an urban adventure rather than an outdoor endeavor. So should be a great time. We've got lots planned. Hey there, welcome to Looney Life. I'm Lauda and this is Matt. We're just a couple of ordinary people trying to get as much as we can out of the life we've been given. You only get one, and it's all about the experiences you have and the people you meet along the way. Come along as we explore the world near and far. Well, time to pack for Vegas. And we are taking Frontier, which is adamant that your personal item can only be 18 by 14 by 8, which is the size of my camera bag. So I am going to, I already pulled out all the things out of it that I don't absolutely need, and somehow I need to get all this stuff into this little bag. Here we go. I'm only taking two shirts. Two shirts, three pairs of underwear, two pairs of socks and a bathing suit. Plus the jeans on my butt, a flannel and a tank top on myself and a jacket on myself. I've never packed this little for a trip in my entire life. I love this backpack. It has all kinds of pockets and all kinds of cool stuff in it. It has a little, a little sunglasses pocket back here and a little wallet type pocket right here and a pocket that lets you access your camera from over here and another pocket that zips up that expands to put a tripod in it is fantastic. Done! Capital One Visa, Capital One Lounge at DIA, so it's kind of awesome. Free, free, everything's free. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. Cheers. Having coffee at like 6.30, 6.45. Thank God we're going to Vegas because I'm not going to sleep tonight. We're going to get some gambling in, right? At the airport. Yep. We just got. We don't here. need to leave. Nope. We just got here. Let's just <laughs> let's just gamble right here. <laughs> A short Uber ride got us from the airport to Caesar's Palace, where we were staying. It's amazing. Let's see what this is like. We got upgraded room. I'm guessing they um, ran out of the cheap ones, so hopefully it's cool. Oh darn. Bam. <laughs> Here's a... Uh, <laughs> wow! There's a shower. Oh my. Here we go. Dang. This isn't as nice, but it's pretty darn nice. There we go. Now we can see. Very nice. We didn't have much time on this trip, so we hit the ground running and headed straight for the strip. I'd never been to Vegas, and not gonna lie, I fell head over heels immediately. I've been to lots of amazing places in my life, but I had never seen anything quite like this. Dude, this is inside. Check this out.
everything is so big here. Like, this casino behind me, man, it's just massive. These things take up like whole city blocks. I can't believe it. It's wild. I'd heard about the fountains at the Bellagio for a long time, but seeing them in person was next level. After walking around all night, by 11.30 we were starving. We found burgers in the food court of our hotel at Bobby Flay's. We got up and hit the ground running to find some breakfast at a place called Egg Slut at the Cosmopolitan. Afterwards, we continued our wandering of the strip. This place here is like the uh, epitome of like Americana. It's like everything. Taco Bell, McDonald's, Subway, Panda Express. I mean, what else do we have there? Bubba Gump Shrimp. It's like, holy crap, everything all in one freaking block. <laughs> the conservatory at the Bellagio was out of this world. When we were there, it was set up for the upcoming Chinese New Year, which happened to be the Year of the Dragon. <laughs> in this wild. A friend recommended the Sphere experience. Boy, was he right. It was absolutely amazing. The AI displays and exhibits in the lobby were just surreal, and the movie Once Inside was out of this world. Too bad we couldn't film any of it to show you guys. I was so excited to go to Hell's Kitchen for dinner. After all the years of watching the show on TV, it was super cool to actually get to go to the real thing. It was incredible. The details, the cloth monogram napkins, the etched water glasses, the gold silverware, even the steak knives were just beautiful. And the food. I finally got the scallops and beef wellington that I've seen for years on TV. The wine pairings with each course and the lava cake with ice cream for dessert didn't suck either. The following morning, we went to the Venetian to the Grand Lux Cafe for breakfast.
a hurricane from the purple zebra. Let's see how horrible it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you get to walk down the street. I'm walking down the street. Let's go. How fast can we lose five bucks in uh, the slot machines in Vegas, right? Probably pretty fast. Let's find out. Oh, what the heck? That wasn't very fast. Way too long. We gotta go. We got shit places to be. Crap! Woohoo! We headed to Treasure Island because we had tickets to Cirque du Soleil, a show called Mystery. Another bucket list experience for me. I'd always wanted to see one of these shows and hadn't had the chance. To see it in Vegas for the first time was amazing. Our flight out wasn't till the afternoon, so after we checked out of the hotel, we went in search of breakfast. Then it was to the airport, where we enjoyed another lounge, and then onto the plane home. Well, we made it home. Had a great few days in Vegas. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.